Prison can be a place of retribution, not restoration. And that leads inmates to often find themselves feeling hopeless. But Calvin University is giving these people a second chance thanks to a new program that they can now earn a bachelor's degree. A new documentary called Behind Our Walls gives us a little more insight into that initiative. And video producer Nathan Rules joining us on set tonight. Nathan, thanks for coming here. Tell us a little bit about this documentary, a real passion project for you. Yeah, yeah, so this project, it started back in 2019. Um, it's a documentary about a group of incarcerated men that join a bachelor's degree program at Calvin. And uh, it's really um, in hopes of changing their lives and also changing a really broken system. So. Talk about some of the aspects of the documentary, and I guess, what did you find rewarding about putting this together? Was it the stories that these uh, prisoners had to tell? Yeah, it's really just really powerful to hear these stories of transformation and of and of hope in such a dark place, and to see the resilience of these men as as they overcome so many obstacles and challenges and and do something really really spectacular. So, what kind of impact do you see that that education has on some of these inmates that really don't have any other? They're confined. They're they're in for life, but here they are offered this education that's got to have a profound impact. Yeah, so it's a program, Calvin uh, really focuses on not only academic knowledge, but also moral formation. And, and you see really a lot of these men talk about their character being changed through the program and uh, how a lot of them seek opportunities to give back and to serve the other prison population that many of them have life sentences and really want to see it become a place more flourishing rather than just uh, retribution and, and to become more of a restorative place. Was it difficult to get some of the inmates to open up? Uh, surprisingly, these men have been holding these stories in for many of them for decades and were just almost bursting to tell some of their stories. Some of the men um, might have been a little more closed off than others, but uh, there was, I was really um, admire the transparency that, that these men had about their stories and about um, so many of the things that they've been through. Yeah, it's got to take a little bit of courage to put it all out there. I'm I'm guessing. Yeah, definitely. It takes a lot of vulnerability and, and humility from, from all these men, and, and I was really impressed with them. This uh, was a project you got started in 2019, and then COVID hit, uh, so you've had some hurdles along the way. You've got to be pretty, uh, I guess there's a lot of gratitude that you've got this completed. <laughs> yeah, it's, it was a lot of work, and COVID definitely threw a wrench in the plan. Um, it, we had started filming in 2019, and then for about two years, weren't allowed to film, so I was working more on the post-production, editing, and figuring out um, what things we're not going to be able to get anymore. Some of the programs were changed over COVID or canceled, and and so you kind of have to reform the story or figure out what questions to ask when you get back um, and how the narrative might change. Yeah, and I guess most importantly, how do we see this? Yeah, the, the premiere is going to be July 29 at Celebration Cinema South. Uh, you'll have to book a ticket in advance if you want to go. Uh, you could find it on our Facebook page. Uh, I think it's facebook.com slash behind our walls. There should be all the information that you need. All right. Yeah. Nathan Rules, you put this together. Good luck and, yeah. and congratulations on your documentary. Look forward to seeing it. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Emily.